haunted townhouse. And um, since we last came in, you this is my sister Debbie. Um, you've been experiencing more activity, Debbie, haven't you, since our last visit? Yeah, mm -hmm. mostly the dog seems to pick up on things. So he's we hear Can him quite often. Bit, yeah, we quite often hear him out on the landing like he's playing with someone, growling, and then he'll stop barking, and you can hear him running around. Sometimes he'll go around the whole house crying, yeah. going and trying to get in everyone's room, just crying, going around the house. Um, yeah, and that kind of thing, really. So to you, when you, you wake up and you hear that, you think he's actually playing with yeah, something on the line? Yeah, it's like if, for instance, if, one of, if Jensen's playing with him or something, he's... Yeah. He's behaving like someone's actually playing with him. Yeah. You can hear him rolling around and barking and getting excited, like yeah. someone's playing with him and nobody's there. So, so have you actually go up and have a look? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and no one there. No. No, and that's up now. Only time you see that's oh, that happens <laughs> quite a lot. Probably, sort of, I'd say a couple of times a month, probably, if really? not a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit unnerving then as well if you you think someone's there yeah. you can't see them, I suppose. No, although happened quite a lot now so yeah yeah, yeah. can you um tell us some um, a bit anything else has happened here Debbie, since we last came in uh there was one incident when i was home alone working i was working from home at the time and my little boy had his little baby tooth had come out so i put it on the hub behind me after we washed it off put it on the hub behind me and he'd gone to school so it was only me in the house on my own and i had my back where the tooth was on the hub, but anyway, yeah. I was working, and the next thing I heard, like, someone had thrown a stone on the floor, Ooh, so I kind of turned around and was like, what the heck was that? And yeah, I suppose looked, it startled you, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, when I looked up? on the floor, it was Jensen's tooth that had come out. Right. It was on the floor and was chipped. And where was the tooth? It was behind me. Behind you on the shelf? On the hub, was... on, like, the, just on the hub he put it, so, um... You know, there's no way anyone was home to throw that on the floor or, you know, yeah. and it was on the side, so, and it had chipped as well. And then straight after that, really, the dog started getting wound up, um, crying, going on his hind legs and looking in the hallway. And that was the same time as And that was just after that happened, literally. Yeah. Seconds, minutes? Well, probably, yeah, sort of minutes, yeah. And so, obviously, if the tooth had chipped, that was thrown with force. Yeah, it was like someone threw a stone on the floor, like you'd hear if someone threw a stone and then it hits the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it made me turn around, like, well, yeah. You know, See what was, was going that? on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you just go over for us, Debbie, a few things that have happened in our first investigation? Why we actually you called us in? Yeah. Can you? So, yeah, when I first moved here. We never felt anything really to start with and then there was a couple of events probably that you know brought about a lot of emotions in the house so me and my ex-partner was having some problems that caused a bit of an atmosphere and then mum died yeah, that's it, that's it. and then it started one evening a few days after she died we were all sat in the lounge in here and then the next thing you hear like someone walking down the stairs and we all looked at each other because nobody was so anywhere the whole family actually everyone heard. was in the lounge so everyone heard it and then yeah after that there was the fire alarm kept going off and then the dog would be crying and hiding under the bed all the time like he was scared or something yeah um there was yeah few things really. Um, my ex-partner slept in here one night and he said three times he was woken up by the sound of someone walking down the stairs. Uh, did he actually get up and have a look? He got up and had a look and nobody there and then the next thing there was a loud knock on an internal door and again he got up, nothing. Um, yeah, so, and, and also my daughter's bedroom like um, I slept in with her one night because I was not feeling very well or something and I turned off the lights to go to sleep and it was like the next thing it was like someone had picked something up off her dressing table and
and put it back down again. You actually heard it get yeah, up Yeah, moved. you heard it. Yeah, you were really something back. moved. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, to start with then, obviously you came in and did your investigation. Yeah. And I was absolutely petrified staying here then, because um, then I was sometimes here on my own. Yeah. Um, but I suppose in that time now, I've kind of got used to it, knowing that these things happen and kind of accepting that if there is something here, then you've got to kind of live in live harmony with it, almost. Yeah, live with it, like, yeah. yeah. So, um, you did say some things have not actually happened to the girls as well, but did you say something was thrown against the wall or something? Was that a phone or...? A yeah, that, that was Kaya, yes. Something get thrown, yeah. Did you see it actually get lifted up? She just seen it go Throw, across, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. um, yeah, it's just been things like that that have happened here, yeah. yeah so things being moved and thrown, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I've woken up in the night on a number of occasions thinking I've seen you know people next to my bed, like an elderly lady smiling at me. Um, and then another time there's been a, another person that. I would say, like resembled like a medicine man stood next to me. Um, Strange. But it, yeah, this, yeah. Did he definitely actually say anything? Or no, no, no. But you've actually seen, seen yeah. him standing there yeah. by your bed. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I think sometimes like a lot of people look into reasons to why these things might happen. You know, and yeah. I probably did that to start with, but then you. You run out of reasons to what it could be that's causing all these chain of events, really. Yeah. So but it definitely is. I think there's like an atmosphere here, but I think I've just got used to living with it now. Yeah. 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 It. yeah. So obviously, one of those spirits could be our your mum, bless her. Mm. Um, but you've also, like you said, seen apparitions, haven't you? Yeah, and, and you bit. know, with the dog as well, that was, he's yeah. never done anything like that before. He was like, he was really scared and he would hide under the bed from something. He'd sit there and look at something, crying, that nothing there, yeah. would be hiding under the bed. You also did mention something about some letters being here. Oh, yes. yes. I, th I think that was the landlord was saying, um, that owns the house, was saying they found some old notes from back in the 50s that children have uh, written and, where and they pushed fish? them down through the floorboards yeah. upstairs. <laughs> yeah. So I mean it's an old house yeah, so it, it dates back to the Victorian time so it's going to have a lot of history yeah, to it's it. Not, it's a lot of families have yeah. come and gone and yeah. lots of people have passed away here as well. Yeah. They, so, yeah. so it's going to have you know, a fair bit of energy. Like here energy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so you're actually in the midst of moving. Yeah, we're moving next week. Yeah. So you're allowing us back in. I am. Yes. So I don't have to come back here to sleep afterwards. Yeah. On my own yeah. So yeah. You, you're not sure about yeah. what we might find or pick up or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So um, we'll um come back and do our investigation with the rest of the team, and um, we'll it'll take, be interesting yeah. to see what comes from that. Exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah, it will be too. So we're looking forward to that. And thank you very much, Debbie, yeah. for inviting us back in again. I have to be brave enough to watch it. After yes, <laughs> at least you won't be here. No, no. no. <laughs> yes, they want to follow me. Yes, yeah. well, is that, you yeah. just don't know that no, either, do you? Because no. some things are connected to the house, yeah. some are connected to people, mm -hmm. some spirits are connected to items in the yeah. house. So, yeah. yeah. So hopefully our viewers will tune in to watch the investigation. Yeah. Thank you very much, Debbie, for letting us back in. Before we go, Debbie, can you explain what happened to Jensen? So Jensen will wake up um, sometimes and say there's someone walking in his room. Yeah. And he's also felt like someone was putting their hands around his throat. Like he's being strangled. Like he was right? being strangled, yeah. So he, a couple of times he he's, he's, he's said about this, and someone walking in his room. Yeah. So um, he gets he a bit something yeah, in it yeah, yeah, as well. So he gets scared sometimes yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah. So really all, all the families experience something. Yeah. 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 And I think even, thing. you know, if you were a sceptical person, you would probably be doubting yeah. things. Yeah. You know? That's it. And lots of people do doubt it. And lots of people don't even believe in it. No. Until 
they actually go through no. it themselves. No. You know, until they do, they're not going to believe in it. And, you know, well, I like he's, like I said, you know, I try and find reasonable yes yeah, of what logic could be is well, causing it. You've got logical reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes well, there's it's definitely too many things going on at that time to to think it was just nothing. Yeah. Well, that's um, given us a lot to think about here, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to the investigation again yes. coming in. Yeah, yeah and it's going to be really yeah. strange because everything's going to be empty. It's going to be empty. Yeah. yeah, and it's quite a big place in a room. Yeah. Can you just tell us where you think is the most active part of the house? Or is there a few active parts? Uh, it was the I always find the dining room, even though nothing really happens in there, I've never really liked that room. That's next yeah. bus in there, yeah? Yeah, I find it like a funny atmosphere in there. It's quite, I don't know what it is. I just can't put, put my finger on it, to be honest. I've just never really liked that no. room. Um, probably upstairs is the most, you know. Is that your first landing? or the Yeah, on the first floor, I would say, definitely, yeah. yeah. Is that where Billy? Yeah. So we'll go out on the land in there quite often, um, and obviously my bedroom was where he would come in and, and yeah. be scared. So that's so where you, you say like he's playing with someone, is on that first land. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, what about Anya's old room? Yeah, Anya's old room. So you did say before that was quite active, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah yes. she's woken up to the taps being full on. Um, really? Yeah. and her family now they're gone. After tomorrow they're picking up bits, they won't be coming back. Does anyone just pass that ramp on? Yeah, the bell's it's on the floor. It's falling on the floor. 